Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and welcome to Baldur's Gate and that's Edison Trilogy once again. And uh, we were actually checking out, uh, or I was checking out my equipment here and uh, it did some rearrangement rearrang on the stuff. We have a lot of stuff in uh, in here, I, I never remember to take these out and put them in the correct case, so maybe I will do it now. Because they are in wrong place for sure. I should probably sell some of this stuff or uh, maybe even all of it, except for the golden pantaloons, of course. But uh, but, but yeah, let's uh, let's get them going. Mm. This is a cursed scroll, so I should get rid of it before I <laughs> accidentally read it. Uh, this will uh, probably do something uh, something not good. I would uh, say it uh, reduces our wisdom or intelligence to zero, maybe or one. I think if if you get reduced to zero, you will actually die uh, at least on Constitution. So I don't know about other skills. But yeah, I did some minor uh, adjustments here. I was actually. Yeah, I gave the Ring of Protection from Imoen to uh, Ayantis and gave the Ring of Infra Infravision to, to, to uh, uh, Imoen for role-playing play reasons, pretty much, because uh, Ayantis already has the Helm of Infravision. So he doesn't need double Infravision. And everyone else got, uh, got the Infravision from their race. So now everyone should have infravision. Of course, the infravision doesn't do anything in this game, so that's a that's a role playing, if anything. Um, and Koran immediately has uh, has something to say. I'm sorry, Imoen. I'm trying to sort through some ahem, paper paperwork. And uh, hey, Koran! Wow, what a stack of letters! Do you have a large flowing family or something? These are letters from some friends. I bet they are lovers. Lady friends? Well, not all of them are necessarily ladies. I mean female friends. There are two or three from Mentos in... Oh. So Kran doesn't care, apparently. <laughs> Must be from the husbands, then. <laughs> Pretty much okay, well. I guess that makes more sense. And then Ayantis has something to say. We talk about justice, honor, honor and about good and evil. Are you interested to hear how I failed my call to become a paladin? I mean, yes, please. That would be interesting. That would interest me a lot. I don't want to make him angry. He's a great addition to the team. Uh, I was filled with this desire for the lack of another term. Mitchell, a helm has held sway over my heart since the first moment I beheld, beheld his glory. And it is in his name that I do good. There is simply no other way for me to be. I stood diligently at the church of helm and practiced my swordsmanship. One, my, one of my teachers was Myrmid Splendon. That's probably some... some uh, Big name in the Forgotten Realms thing, but I never heard it before. Of uh, whom you might have heard. Yep, no, <laughs> haven't. One day I had a, had a dream. Helm spoke to me and told me I was worthy to serve him. I went directly to the local chapter of Order of the Most Radiant Heart, and now I'm here. Hmm. I envy you, Ayantis, in a good way. Such a straight path. It seems you found your place once for. Uh, once and for all, and I'm sure you will succeed. I thank you, Midrell. Uh, this is my desire. Let us return to our duties then. My honor, as so, you will. we're gonna visit the shop. Jesus does boots, boots of speed on Khalid. That is actually so insane. Helm's blessing. Okay, if not just, uh, okay. These are so... He's gonna get killed because of these boots so many times, but yeah. uh, well, shit happens. Uh, first off, we're gonna sell these. Now that we have the magical uh, blade mail for uh, Jahira as well, we don't need these uh, standard blade mails anymore. Oh, I should uh, pick up all four of them. Oh shit! Good point, dude. Ah, I forgot the sense of scene. Well, that's a scuffed start to a stream. Well, good thing things are looking good right now oh man yeah 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 that was my my mistake too 
Well, at least that's on the recording as well, so, I mean, shit happened. Yeah. I'm gonna go sell uh, all my stuff in shame. Sell the splint mail, sell the, sell the plate mail. Both ropes, they can go. Mm. Do I actually want to buy something, is the question. You have some money. Money is. Let's buy some bullets, just in case. And a few arrows. Okay. What I really need is healing potions. I don't think he sells them though. I don't actually know who sells potions. So... At least the chat is working this time. Last time the chat was broken, so I mean this is a professional streaming yeah. 101. Uh, let's go see the jovial juggler and see if somebody there sells potions. Healing potions would be nice. As you will. That's so funny. Though. I mean, in theory, I could have started the episode again, but I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It was all talk anyway, so I mean, yeah. Um, what do you sell? Good man. Slings. Brazers. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Koran actually has uh, just the brazers. These actually don't do anything, so... Might as well sell them. It's kind of a weird thing to put on a character. Oh, he doesn't want to buy them. Okay, well... Oh, Koran doesn't have enough strength for the composite. Bows. Or what's the problem here? And I don't see thief or I mean the fighter here. Sixteen strength. I guess. Uh, yeah, he has only fourteen. Uh, so that's mm, that's gonna be annoying. Corona is uh, about to level up as well. I just noticed that. Uh, I mean, I aren't this. Yeah, that, that was uh, something I was gonna say. Actually, Koran is as well. So, we are gonna have some high level guys soon ish. So, he doesn't sell potions. Uh, is the officer way here? I wanna sell some of those. Uh, he's right there. I wanna sell some of those. Uh, what's it called? Scalps. Bandit scalps. We've been collecting. Because they make good money. Well, not the trade apparently. Yeah. There must be somebody selling potions uh, in the, in Imperikos. This is a big city, so maybe it's the Veldabost Inn. I now feel that every one of my guys were as fast as Khalid. And that's just insane. The only thing that boots add is actually movement speed. So hat spell actually gives you extra attacks and you're faster overall. But these uh, boots uh, only affect your movement speed. Duty to one's cause outweighs all. Who's that guy? Oh, it's Tiax. Right, we don't want to mess with Tiax. Tiax is crazy. Um. Easy plus one saving throws plus one. That's not very good. Oh, this would be nice if we had a strong enough guy. But we don't. Charm protector. Where is immune to charm? Wow, that that is actually very good, and it's cheap too. You know what? We're gonna buy it. Uh, deafness. 
All these strange items, uh, these are all mod added, like the ogre drum. I don't even know what this does. When played, the target must make a so saving throw at minus two, or the sound of the drum causes panic. Well, that's um, that's a cobalt drum. When played, the target must take a saving throw minus two, or the sound of the drum causes panic. So it's a pretty much immediate, uh, pretty much identical item. Yeah, he doesn't sell potions either. Helm, as you will. I don't usually buy potions. So this With is kind of weird. But we we definitely need uh, healing potions. We've been using so much that uh, that that. Maybe the Burning Wizard actually sells them. Uh, what did we... We had quest for Zhuon. Let's... Uh, he's the annoying uh, goblin who will steal money each time we talk to him, so I don't know if I... If I wanna just talk to him to find out if he did his mission. He probably did it, right? Let's talk now. Yeah. Thanks again. Oh, I already gave them. <laughs> what have you got in pack today? And we lost the gold. Bastard. You want some whiskey? Uh, what do you sell? He doesn't even sell anything. And I think I just checked my screen and made it slightly off-sized. Yeah, this is As going well. Penny. So you've returned. Was there something you wanted? Okay. Any information? I've seen some pretty strange things lately. The iron is crumbling, work is scarce. Uh, what trade there is for one in my profession is uh, hardly worth the effort, and people are going missing in the mines or out of them. Mind your weight tonight. The roads are not safe as they were. Yeah, I think we talk, talk to these With guys Helm's earlier. Blessing. Then there's the Red Chief, but that's a bob kind of place as well. Maybe the High Hedge is the place to go. Let's uh, let's uh, check uh, yeah. all of these places. And there should be somebody se selling potions. Or maybe it's the temples, actually. That would make sense. It's so funny. You, will. you want some whiskey? Uh, yeah, so what you have to offer, yeah, they don't sell anything. With Helm's blessing. I'm gonna visit the temple, it's... Yeah. Oh, shit! Now this just got hit by the lightning, that's, uh... Almost dead. Yeah, that's the danger of wearing a metal armor. <laughs> in, <laughs> in these games. Sometimes uh, you get struck by lightning. Always strive to be well, to the meek. That's uh, that's actually funny. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's check out the temple. As you will. Kevin is still waiting here for the day when we may need him or may not. Who knows? With yeah. Helm's blessing. What kind of aid can you give us? Yeah. Oh yeah, they sell potion. Okay. Think I will actually. Are these four hundred per uh, potion? I guess so. Well, I think we can afford all four. To be honest, so let's uh, let's take them. Are the potions of healing uh, still uh, worth anything? This uh, heal uh, 9 hit points. These are 27, so... Maybe I won't buy the small ones anymore. We could get Scroll of Raised Dead. That way we don't always have to go to the temple. That's a brilliant idea. It's quite expensive. Actually, it's so expensive that I... Hmm. The race dead for my guys, uh, because they are high level, is uh, 
is going up, but it's still only 800 gold, so... I guess it's uh, a lot cheaper to just come back whenever we need it. And now we have some proper potions. I'm gonna split the stack between the fighters. This way. This way it should be optimal for a yeah. fight. As you will. We do have some uh, healing power with our clerics and druid, but potions are better. They're just so so fast. Healing spells take uh, some time to be cast, so here's that. Let's uh, get back to the Glowcode Mines. Yeah, let's let's do it. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Oh shit. Luck be a lady. For the group. I can but try. There should be a third one down here. Yeah? For the three of helm! Okay, well, these, these guys are not a problem apparently. Command. And I just got this level up. Another prophecy and seal slot. Do I wanna keep going for the two hundred sword thing? I think I do. Yeah, let's do it. So now he can uh, use the two hundred sword more efficiently. It's kind of nice that uh, now uh, he actually switches from shield to two hundred sword. I don't think that happened in the vanilla game. In the original game. Yeah. So it was very hard to switch between 200 and uh, two weapons, I suppose. Or maybe I remember wrong. That will. could be a thing uh, also. So we cleared the first area here last time. And we died like a few times. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, might be bad. Uh, I guess I should check this. Must take some time to rest. Oh yeah, they are fatigued, so let's actually take a rest first. With Helm's blessing. Okay, we are fine. Cast the armor spells. By Helm. Do wanna activate the yeah. AI so Corona start seeking for traps. Is this the final location? At least we got we some guards here. A little adventure. Well, he's pretty much dead. I'll do my best. Oh, right, the new helmet. Totally forgot about it already. I'm gonna stash this this helmet. We must always strive to be role models to the meek. Hmm. I think I will check out that other building first. I don't remember how this uh, this went exactly. Because one of these will lead to the mine, and other is probably just a storage place. And this uh, certainly looks like looks like that. Yeah. For the fallen! <laughs> Without the mages, these guys are quite easy. But uh, when they had uh, those crazy mages with them. And I guess a couple priests, it was uh, a whole different story. Okay, it's locked. Great peril yields great beauty. But not a problem for our thief. As you will. These are junk. Yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna carry around uh, a lot of junk anymore. Oh, there's a stairs up. Let's actually, I guess, save and 
go to see where that that lead. Okay, he wants to talk. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> yeah, good story, bro. Uh, please don't kill me. I'll tell you where the mines are. Yes, I'll do that for you if you spare me. The entrance is in the Bailey to the east. Please let me live. I mean, I guess. With Helm's blessing. My yeah. Because he just disappeared, so there wasn't much I can do, do, do for that. Heavy crossbow. Nobody can really use a crossbow here, so it might be worth some coin, though. We are stealing everyone's stuff. Well, I guess we killed them, so <laughs> it should be fine, right? Uh, don't I keep collecting them? Probably not. Oh, Karen, let's talk. Well, if it's Swordsman's Colossus against Archer's Bruises. A difficult choice. Mm, what are you talking about? Oh, the marks of warrior's labor. A bruise from the pro bowstring Colossus from the sword. These marks are ridiculously ig ig ignoble. Okay. Uh, whatever that means. Uh, the maids imagine uh, that Bravo Bravos uh, spent their days in gruesome melee. Escaping with nothing but a life threatening wound to the little finger. <laughs> like a broken nail. Mm. And they would like nothing more but to nurse such a grave wound, of course. Being healed uh, by a gentle mate is, <laughs> is the part I find hard to mind, since they believe that soft kisses and uh, lace hand handgirls chiefs are the best cures. For a scratched finger, they are not far off. Spot on even, I had more scratches than I care to count miraculously disappear after such a treatment. Oh man, he's, a, he's such a, a ladies man I suppose. <laughs> Kill him. Bastard. Yeah, there was nothing worth, uh, worth our time here. As you will. With Helm's blessing. Yeah! I just hope that the one guy we left uh, or uh, who ran away doesn't go here and uh, warn the others. I remember that this place is quite brutal, so. So, so. No? It's, uh, it's gonna get interesting, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. No guards. Okay. Let's, uh, let's check out the barrels. Nothing. And that's a uh, probably locked. So. Yeah. Just a uh, standard long sword. Really don't want them. Ooh. Yeah. This is some gonna elevator, right? Where I mean, there must be traps. Me. This is such a. I hate them oh. flaming fist pansies. You're those bastards who've been taking down our mining ops. Well, you come to the wrong place, kiddos. I'm one mean son of a bitch, and I'm gonna give you a world of hurt. I think you got this wrong. Just, uh, just saying, dude. You're one very bad guard against uh, so many guys. Yeah. You've attacked as you direct. Yes, great peril. Well, I mean, he he took beauty. all one arrow to die, I suppose. We must uh, always strive to be role models. I don't want to run into a trap. Maybe the thief should go first. Miners here as, as well. Faber, guards, guards. Anderson speaking ill of Tavern. Wait, you're no guards. Ah, guards, guards. A telltale. He reminds me of my sister, Amenil. Uh, Mama, Coran slipped out the window. Window. Coran uh, slipped out the window and was out hunting all night. Papa, Coran was kissing Envian's Envian Maverick's 
daughter. Quite inconvenient. We will have to watch our backs now. Okay. Well, With Helms, I'm not gonna please. kill him. And I'm gonna assume that's the so-called evil option here. I mean, let them know. What's up, Anderson? Get me out of this hellhole. Yeah, it's gonna be bad here. Uh, there are two reasons I want to speak against these rocks. Do you wish to hear them? <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Yes, I would. First, because I imagine this rock to be my captor's skull. Second, because the meager spark that leaps from my attempt is all the light I'll ever know again. If you be a new slave like I once was, you shall learn this simple truth soon enough. I mean, the road up is clear, so you could technically just get the hell out of here. Another god. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> so who are you guys? You had to buy some iron or something, you know? Well, you're here. Maybe you should give me some advice. My wife's been complaining lately, mostly about our late night, uh, late night life. You see, with all the stress and trouble lately, it's taking a little uh, st starch out of my maypole. If <laughs> if you get me meaning. Yeah, I get your meaning, dude. I, uh, you're just gonna ask that question uh, on a, from a very st strange new people. Why in the nine hells are you asking us such a question? Hey, wait a second. I recognize the bunch of you now. You're the guys who've been causing all the trouble lately. Surrender right now. Uh, I really didn't want to kill you, but we must do what we must do. I can, but try. These guys are really not putting yeah. about any, any kind of fight. Oh. Oh, I remember this. If you set me free, sir, I can tell you how to bring this mine crashing down around the edge of those fat headed slavers. We'll set you free now. Tell us what you know. Uh, we'll see. Well, see, here's how it is. The way to bamboozle these mine me, these these ninnies is real easy. Right here beside me is a steel block that stop stoppers up the ri river on the surface. If you were to release that, then the whole mine would be drowned. Only the master of the mine has the key to open the block, and he's a real mean cuss. If you were to bring the key to me, I could use it to float the float the mine. Okay, hello, hotline, <laughs> Obuchi Ob hotline. I think you have to advise him to get fresh air to not to kill poor sword. And hi, yeah. Hi to you as well. Yeah, I think uh, that would have been the option, but I mean, I uh, screwed that up. Um. How do you know how to operate this key? There's a dwarf on the second level of the mine. Oh, Jeslik. His name is Jeslik and he's the last surviving dwarf of the clan that used to live here. Under threat of death, he designed the plug for the master of the mine. Um, I talked with him last time I was in the cells for bad behavior. Okay, we'll try to find this key. Good. If you haven't already been down uh, to the lower levels, try to find a man named Rill. He's a good friend of mine and should be able to come up with a plan on how to get all the slaves to safety. Uh, I'll see you later and try not to get killed, okay. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it has been a very long time when I was last uh, playing this part of the game, so I mean, it's kinda new. TPN. What up, dude? Help us. What's going on? You're not our captors. No, we are not. Make your way to the surface and flee uh, while there's still time. We'll take care of uh, the remaining guards down here. I thank you, stranger, with every ounce of strength that is left in me. I haven't seen the light of day for a well night. Well, night, uh, night a year. Strange old English word. I don't think I can just talk to everyone. I think uh, I think uh, yeah, I need to 
I need to find that real guy. Uh oh. More guards incoming. I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. You there, you're not supposed to be in this area. Surrender yourselves now. If you don't think so. No. As good as done. I do wonder if there's some kind of trick that you surrender and as you will. They take you down below or something. Okay. This is just a random miner, right? Get me out of this hell hole. <laughs> they do sound uh, like uh, your standard <laughs> workers complaining about everything, right? I mean, how bad can it be? He's just straight up hostile. Can't hit him. Okay. You have need. I'll do my best. Oh, he had uh, the, or his armor broke. <laughs> With helms. Yes. So that didn't help him. These guys are probably just Get random guys. Out well. of this hell hole. Yeah. So we have a kind of two paths to go, go on from here. I think I will try the left one first. See where it leads. Okay, I'm actually gonna move my windows a little bit. Uh, okay, OPG. Oh, this game so much. Earth. Just play. I would to a game again to set, set up a Berserker from Baldur's Gate 2. For Baldur's Gate 2. Yeah, an insult part of Tweakback. Moves all the later NPCs to earlier areas. Yeah, I had to have that mod installed as well. And and then actually, Berserker is one of my favorite classes to do Baldur's Gate 2. Um, that's how I did it in the first time. It's it's so fantastic when you can, you can just ber go Berserker and ignore all the nasty lich spells and whatever you get it helps so much but this time I actually first time for ev forever I went for a cleric illusionist gnome so I, I have a little bit more beef on my team than normally because normally my main guy is just a straight up fighter or something like that this is there be a plug somewhere that seals this mine from the river's torrent. Find it, and maybe you can render this hell no more than a better memory of its former self. Yeah. Where is this plug you speak of? I know not. Only that uh, we actually know where the plug is, so this was just a way to make sure that we know where the plug is, I suppose. Or that there is such, such a thing. So this leads uh, downstairs, so we are gonna check out the second branch. Did that mood actually move Yeslik out of the mines? I don't I don't know about that. It's entirely possible. Canticle. Save me, dear sir. I was a I was a bard once. I knew every song that ever that ever was, and I could sing them all so beautifully. But now my throat's been choked by dust, and my lungs have withered in this silly air. A thousand curses on Davern and whatever man it was uh, that hired him. Well, I mean, even slaving a bard to do digging, this tavern has a brain size of a walnut. Worry not, Troubadour, we are here to set you all free and kill Davern. If you break us free, I would uh, sing a song of you, even if I would not be able to speak after that ever again. Well, I mean, thanks. Oh. How can I live without a little really adventure? In this. Yeah, the beauty says that my first time through Baldur's Gate 2 I didn't have the internet to read advice and tips and so on. 
So he played the fantasy paladin. Yeah. Yeah, the. Uh, I think I played the Baldur's Gate 2 before I got a uh, real internet as well. It was a. Uh, it was early 2000 something. So it was a very, very, very different time. Today you can see all kind of let's plays and whatnot. It was the time before YouTube. Good on you if you save the day. Come on. I have only played the Baldur's Gate 2 once. Uh, and that was a uh, back in the back in the days, so to say. So yeah. I, I I don't really remember much of that. So that's my plan of uh, doing the whole thing again. Plus, of course, the new DLC. And yeah, Psychic, I I appreciate you being here. But maybe you should try out some of these games. I mean, they're single-player games, so it's a it's a it's a different thing than. Uh, your standard multiplayer games, I suppose. Although I don't know what Psychic plays, so... Yeah, I try to play as uh, little as uh, possible... Or reloading as few times as possible. So... I don't usually do that uh, that much. But of course with all the mods which increase the difficulty of these fights, it's... Uh, I found out that we die quite often. As you will. Especially the uh, Sword Coast Strata Games mod is, uh, is making the mages and all spellcasters so much harder than what they are in vanilla game. But I mean, I, I just load these old school RPGs. While the they made the new ones the the, the what what you call pillars of eternity and another pillars of eternity too is actually coming out. So they are kind of the same but the new. But uh, I found out that uh, I didn't like that much the first pillars of eternity. I did play it, but uh, and the uh, tyranny game which came in between. But what they feel. Uh, there are a little bit uh, simplistic versions of this, I feel. You must gather your party before venturing forth. So, oh, I remember there's a trap somewhere. Is it right here? I actually want to wait, Helms. wait for this guy. Okay, he's down. For the group. Helm. Give me strength! There's something most yeah. unnatural here, and I want no part of it. I kind of do want to check out the Pillars of Eternity too, but... We must always strive to be role we'll see if I ever get to there. It was probably a bad choice to start playing this game, because this is gonna be a long, long ass game. Yeah. CSGO, PUBG, or Overwatch, VR Chat, those are... Your standard multiplayer games these days, I suppose. I mean, I used to play CS 1.6 a lot back in the day, so I I can understand the funding to only play multiplayer games. As you will. It is very different. Very very different uh, speed, I suppose. With Helm's blessing. Slave. Help us. Please, I don't want any trouble. If you leave me alone, I promise to be good. Okay, well, that's your choice, I suppose. So, okay, I think Jeslik should be here if he's here. He's probably not here. Maybe they might move him. But she says, uh, some people play these games hardcore. If you die, then uh, that's it. No reloads. Uh, I'm not careful enough for that, and uh, I'd have to always be sober. Yeah, I've seen the no reload challenges. It's uh, it's pretty much insane, and the game style you have to play is uh, actually quite boring in my in my books because you have to be 
you have to be doing all the dirty tricks like cloaking away and running away if you, if it comes to that. But uh, I mean, it's a it's a great challenge. I've never managed to do it myself. For the fallen! Usually they use some uh, some uh, class where you can attack from a range. But there has been uh, quite many people who have done the challenge, so I think it's uh, doable. It's uh, it's a bit like a uh, speed runs. I think this game completed in something like 30 yeah. minutes, 40 minutes or something, or what was the record? Something like that. It's uh, it's uh, actually insane. Great peril yields great beauty. Bye. So you we will. finally found a trap. Let's uh, actually get inside. Nothing here. I just remember that the last fight in this uh, this uh, cave thing is or this mine is uh, is a hell of a tough fight, especially with the mods. Got nothing here. With helms, I would plug it had I the power. God. Hey, you're those adventurers. I, I give up. Please don't hurt me. I promise I won't scream. I, I don't want to die. Oh, please let me leave. Just don't kill me. Are you gonna let me leave? Are you? Huh? Huh? Sir, sure, we'll let you leave. Just uh, tell us everything we want to know. I'll tell you everything. Everything. My boss, Stavern, he's on the fourth level. He's uh, the head honcho. Now, are you gonna let me leave? Yes, now get the hell out of here. I mean, he didn't really tell us. Well, he's on the fourth level, he told us that. Guess that counts, but... Since we are a good party, I don't feel like... killing everyone is a, is a valid option. I wonder what the single cast is doing out in in in, in the mines. But I mean, we can definitely kill him. Is that the level three spell? No. The funny thing is that Imon still uh, is uh, lacking a level three spell, even uh, though she has a slot. But I haven't found any scrolls and. Oh, and I just tracked my window all over the screen. That's my uh, honor is my life. Always yeah. great. Another guest. I mean, wouldn't uh, the miners uh, kind of get creeped out by As you will. some random guests? Iman doesn't know this spell, so we're gonna copy the spell book. Just for the experience, if nothing else. Blessing. Oh yeah, I guess these are kind of closed off tunnels. Okay, this could be the huge fight. I actually care more of... Yup! Yup! Talk about huge fight. Oh, this is not the main fight even. I think I wanna start with a fireball here. And I think I will hit my own guys as well, but maybe that's worthy. Uh, the Vandal Fear is actually probably very good here. Charm Person. I could try that, but uh, actually the spells are gonna break it, so... Maybe I will try that later. Could uh, drink some potions, but let's see how it goes. Okay, the Fireball did a lot of damage. That's for sure. Health person might work as well. Let's uh, let's actually do that. Uh, yeah, you are this. You are the arrow guy. 
A lot of them got uh, feared. Are the yellow, yellow round things? So, I mean, that was actually pretty cool. Awaits. The mage got feared as well, so we don't probably have to worry about him. So that's actually By very cool. Your command. The whole spell on my list. You want here? See me. Okay. Let's just uh, spam some spells here. Somebody died somewhere, but I don't know who, <laughs> who and where. Uh, so we have a. Go on, Jahira, kill that. Kill that guy. This way. Oh shit, I'm blocking Jahira actually here. Imoin is in trouble. I can uh, probably just kill that guy with magic missiles, actually. Ooh, we took a hit, but it's fine. Koran got a level up, but I don't think I need to level up during the fight this time. Yeah, this should be actually easy. The fireball was, fireball was great. Great way to start it. Probably actually go and heal him on. I guess I should uh, try to bring down the mage. <laughs> this is also so so annoying. Often you have to you have to kind of try to. Somehow catch up all the guys who are running around, afraid. Oh, oh, oh we have uh, some some guys coming in. I wanted to wait that he walk uh, walks into this room so I don't alert more people. Okay, well he's done. Uh, let's go for this guy. I want, I want the mage to, uh, mage to be dead before the fear goes out. And there we go. Oh, that was scary but surprisingly easy. Yeah, cast and uh, carrion crawlers are annoying. That health spell is so strong. Because they will pretty much auto automatically hit My you. Honor, duty to one's cause outweighs all. Once I asked Khalid whatever he thinks he would have wanted to join a party without any females present. <laughs> are you leaving, Zygek? Bye, if you are. Somebody left. I need to make my chat window bigger, actually, that's uh... I don't know how to do that in the stupid dashboard. Uh, hmm... To which the in, uh, inestimable man replied... Well, he said that he himself would uh, definitely not want to be in any party without one particle of female present. Smart and diplomatic, as always. I agree with Khalid. I would rather not adventure without a... Without pleasant female companionship, but unlike him, I do not mind some variety. Yeah, we know that already. Yeah. I don't, I don't you know will. what chachia <laughs> means. I guess it, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, right, we need we to level up. I'm gonna grab all the arrows. Somebody broke their sword as well. There's some magic arrows, some scalps. It's just a long ball. Some mage robes. Oh, uh, has to, that has to be a level three spell, right? A nice potion of extra healing. You've a task. Potion of explosions. 
Okay, I think we got the all the mage there. stuff as well, yeah. Oh, but there's still some magic arrows lying around. With the new uh, quick loot, uh, it's sometimes very hard to see where, where you are kind of looting stuff. I guess it highlights them when you move your mouse. Yeah, so you could kind of check that uh, every corpse is highlighted at some point. Oh, she's just a cool. Okay. Blessing. I mean, Tahir is such a. This dungeon has a sense of mm, evil about it. Well, boss, I suppose. <laughs> never spot, never a break. You're a bunch of green heads, ain't you? You come uh, here to guzzle, or maybe. Maybe one of you handsome stacks wants to shag. What? I'm quite a fobsy, aren't I? <laughs> er, milady, it seems that your romantic ideals were badly affected by your prolonged stay around rough stacks, miners, and hope goblin. Aye, but a shag is still a shag. <laughs> uh, you're a bit flimsy for me liking, but if you want some. Should I have the time, I would have shown you the difference, my lady. What is your name? Okay. Excuse me kindly, gentle lady, but I must steal my comrade from you. Seems that our mine now attracts uh, the gentle burns. I'd better do something about my hairdo and buy new shoes. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming, I had to say. Okay, the level up. Yeah, the Ayantis uh, fate is kind of... Well, it's uh, it's what it is. I don't know if the Trilogy mod changes uh, anything that happens. Probably not. So we didn't get any proficiency slots. We got uh, some uh, increased uh, saving throws, taco reduction, additional hit points 3. Uh, right, this must be the fighter level level up. Yeah, okay, so we didn't get any any thieving skill. The multi level is our multi classing is a is kind of weak in a sense with thief because thieves would level up so fast normally, but when they are multi classed with fighter, it takes uh, forever to get uh, get those high high level skills. Of course, Imoen is uh, is uh, soon gonna be able to use her skills as well. Um, I should identify these. I think I can just uh, check them out. Yep. More stuff. Uh. Okay, is this level three spell? It is. I'm gonna give it to Imoen. I'm pleased. Don't uh, don't screw it up. Yeah. H Haste is actually a very very good spell as well. So, I mean, that's like a win-win. Ghoul dots, uh, probably never gonna use it, but... Yeah, we failed it anyway. Not a big surprise, or a, a big loss, I suppose. Potion of magic shielding. There's so many different shielding this and shielding that potions that... It's actually crazy. Plus 50... Percent resistance against all forms of magical non physical damage. All saving throws are automatically successful. It's very short uh, duration, but uh, it looks very good. Might want to use that some point. I think I will put it on the potion case for now. Oh. Is this some actually good rope? Oh, this is the adventurous rope. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Let's uh, haul it away. I should probably split this between maybe Tahira and Khalid. You don't really need this anymore, do you? Give it to my mind character. So that was some nice, nice loot. Uh, 
Right. Helm, give me strength. Let's uh, save up. We still have us some. Yeah. Some places. Oh right, I was gonna open the locks. Locks here, but Wherever I got distracted. Nothing. Oh, that's something unlocked. And still nothing. Okay. Helm, as you will. Gorion would be proud of your actions. So we kind of went uh, behind here. Maybe this is some kind of waste tunnel, and the guests just live there. Who knows? Assuming that this is a kitchen, yeah, it, it, it would make some kind of sense, I suppose. Mm, yeah, we need to lock big. Luck be a lady. Yes, look, he's still here. Okay. Oh, this is the real one. You there, wait. Tell me I'm right. Aren't you the mercenaries who've been causing the Iron Throne so much trouble? Yes, we are. How did you come by this information? You look, uh, look to be one of the throne slaves. Good, my name is Rill, and I'm a de facto leader of the slaves here beneath the Clockwood. I heard, you, heard about you because I'm always careful to listen to what the Black Talons uh, talk about. It seems uh, that the Iron Throne has placed a large price on the head of someone named Mutual, which would be you, I assume. Enough introductions. We don't have much time. I need 100 gold. Hmm. The captain of the Black Talons is on the, on the first floor is not known for his loyalty to the throne. If you give me the money, I'm sure I could bribe him to look the other way, while I escape with the rest of the slaves. After all, most of the Talons are gonna, going to be preoccupied with you. Well, how about it? Did we kill that guy? Yeah, well, dinner time for me, says OPUT. Yeah. Thanks for the follow, man. And uh, have a nice uh, dinner. And yeah, it is one of the best games ever. I agree on that. Uh, of course, we can help you out. As they say, take from the rich, give to the poor, and do not forget yourself. Here, take the gold you need and get yourself and the others away from here as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you so much. I wish you well and hope that you can bring an end to this stinking operation. Uh, what a relief to know that all these poor souls will have a chance to ex escape. Let us move on and clarify what is going on in this mine. Wow, Mitral, we are freeing the slaves just like the heroes in songs. Thanks again and good luck. So we have the Jeslik situation here. Hmm. With Helm's blessing. This gonna be. I would love to save him. I think I can uh, recruit him and then immediately send him to the friendly arm in or something in uh, in because of the enhanced edition. So I'm gonna try that. If that fails, I'm. Uh... Hmm. He might actually have the mission to kill the guys in the cow uh, in in this place. Which would be not good. In that case, I could uh, probably separate my way with Imoin for temporarily. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Hi. Who's there now? Oh, uh, smithing? Or did he burrow into another river? <laughs> oh, fine side are you? Whoever you are, sick uh, the death of bandits. I am. I have been cooped, cooped, up the longest time. And uh, uh, but if you spare mace, I'd gladly swing it for your cause. I can do things cleric-wise as well, so I'm I'm mind as well as muscle. By Klangedin, a chance to write past uh, uh, wrongs. Can I join you? I think I will actually set him just free. We we have enough healing right now, and uh, there is a lot of clerics with all the mods and so on. So we don't really need Yeslik. Yeslik is a nice. Uh, I think he's a fighter cleric, uh, but. Instead of uh, trying to recruit him, I think I will just uh, just set him free. Although I, uh, I'm not gonna let's uh, let's set him free. You're a bit of fool to refuse my any help, so perhaps foolhardy risk are called for. So be it. I'll go on my way. I will tell you how to hurt these black cards. So. This mine here, it, uh, it was my clan's long ago. We were just tapping the richest ore deposits when we breached a riverbank. Most of us died, and those that lived 
left the mine flooded too. So here, here's the fool me who gets a trade with the iron drone. My friend Rialtar learns of my past and throws the mine location out of me. Now my clan graveyard feeds the drone while they starve the coast of ore. Here be directions uh, to the river bridge. No hands can lose the magical block and flood the mine again. Do this for me and for yourselves if you be against the drone. I'll make my way out without you, but I'll black a few eyes on the way. So we set him free. Normally I usually end up uh, recruiting him right here, but... I guess we could have sneaked past this whole fight, huh? Let's actually see if we can rest, because that, that would be huge. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else here going on. We can. Okay. And how are we on time? I think this is a good time to end this episode, so see you guys on the next one, and uh, yeah. I mean, bye. See you on the next one. <laughs> Spiker. <laughs>